I think it is time to take profit. If you have made some gains, I think the right thing to do is to take profit because if you look at the all share index right now, everything has been going crazy. You can see when we started tracking the all share index and you can see the RSI was down below in this area when we started tracking the all share index as at 11 December, you can see where the all share index is and we experienced a breakout right after touching this trend line that we drew and we saw how the market started going crazy and you can see this is more than two weeks guys you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine okay let me know those let me use this to do the calculation you can see from here we have um, guys this is 34 days this is 34 days guys this is 34 days you can see the market has been going up since december to this very point you can see it here almost 30 days so that is why i'm of the opinion that it is good you take your profit and you can see the signal the rsi is giving us for the daily and if we check the weekly let's see if you see if you check the weekly you can see that the cross is also close and if we look at the monthly chart also you see that the cross is very very close of course i'm expecting something like this a little bit down then the push again before we see the final drop so once the final drop happens you don't want to be caught on aware so the right thing for you to do is to take profit so I'm going to show you what you need to do because you don't want to take profit and keep the money in your account. You still want to deploy it because the market can give us some things that you don't expect. You might see another 10 days upward again. You can see another 15 days. But the right thing to do if you've made money is to take profit to avoid a die known. So I don't want you to regret if you are if you've been following my videos and you've taken position in some good projects you want to take profit because that's the signal the all share index is giving us so what i'm expecting to see i'm expecting to see a little bit of retrace like a ranging market here before we see any push Be or i see a little bit of pullback before we come to this place again and do some ranging market that is healthy for the market you can see how that was being displayed here you see the ranging market here we see a push ranging market we see a push then from this ranging market we see a push upward then we see a breakout here from this ranging market so we are expecting it here for the market to stabilize if at all we are going for the 100,000 basic point so if that is where we are going i want to see the market to cool off a bit so that we can actually know what we are currently doing so without wasting time my name is investor joseph and you are welcome to the investors palace so before we move on i want you to like and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get notified anytime i post enriching videos like this so guys let's go into today's video so now this is the all share index just like i explained and you can see everything has been going crazy a lot of stocks are following the trend of the all share index but this all share index is giving us some indication on what could happen in the market for example there can be a pullback here and two or five stocks will still continue their upward trend depending on their individual catalysts that they have but in the old market generally what we are seeing is companies bringing right issue and you know when some big big companies are moving the smaller ones also we move in and don't forget that there is rotation in the market so currently if you see a lot of stocks like the banking stocks and the insurance stocks they've been doing crazy numbers in the market and if you don't know guys that are using huge sum of money they are actually cashing out because if you invest a little money and if it is 2x it might not be big in your eyes but if somebody bring in a billion and that billion becomes 1.5 billion i think that person will be cool and the person will take money off the market so don't allow greed to fool you in this market currently you can see 
what is going on so there are some stocks you want to if you have some stocks that don't pay dividend this is the right time for you to get out of those stocks if you are profitable in them you want to move out and if there are some stocks that you know you are not sure of the future you want to get out to enter the ones that are actually very very important and something will happen in this current quarter that we have some people we some companies will release results that will be mind-blowing for example maybe they've not been paying dividends you want to pay attention to companies that may likely pay dividends those are the companies that will actually push and blow up the market because they are doing what investors does not what investors are not anticipating so invest if you don't if investors don't expect a company will pay dividends they pay dividends they also you see the rush everybody wants to get and those that are already paying dividends they might surprise investors by paying um, a mind-blowing dividends like what they don't expect so you want to move out of those stocks and then um, go into good stocks that we actually give you good money one banking stock i want us to look at i predicted a stock some month ago and actually it has surpassed my prediction that is uba so i did a video in this area uh i hope we get the video very fast so you can come and watch it to see what i said in the video so that you can um, see how the prediction works so that you will know that i'm not just okay this is the video i did a video four months ago where i said uba we eat 30 and you cap we eat 30. so you cap is here to eat 30 but it's gradually on its way i think it's 27 28 so i think that will happen before we see a pull back so that is what i want you to look at so let's look at uba so you can see this is uba for you so so UBA eat, you can see there must always be a reset in the RSI. You can see this pullback is what is leading to this. And if there's a continuation, you see a turn around and this um, line will face up. And that tells you that the trend will also continue. So you can see there's always a pullback. There's always a little, little retracement here. So if you are selling um, stocks that are not paying dividend, but they've given you profit, you want to take position in stocks that are paying dividends because if you look at the NGS website you see what is going on so a lot of notice of board meeting has been going on so companies have been having their meeting in anticipation of releasing their results so they are planning for the result that they're about to release which is the Q4 so that is what this meeting is all about so they have to do some analysis do some stuff with their auditor before sending it to to sec for the bank they'll send it to cbn they'll do some um, stuff before it will be released before we'll get access to it from the ngs website so if you see notice of board meeting is much in their announcement so you can check out the announcement notice of board meeting everybody is trying to so it is this result that uh that will be a major catalyst to sustain this all share in this push and uh, that is to tell you that uba may likely eat 40 because as it is right now, once they release their result, they might give us some dividends that is um, beyond our expectation. And that will send UBA to 40. And we might see UBA, I think UBA is playing a catch up with um, GTCO and uh, Zenit. So UBA want to come back to that league, want to come to that league, so to speak. And um, you see UBA announce their capitalization. They just eat 1 trillion Naira capitalization. And you know that is huge. And that is the goal of uh, many companies. They want to see how they can actually get good market capitalization. That is why their prices are, are important to them. They must do whatever they, they can to ensure that their prices are actually going up and uh, investors are getting reward. So for UBA, for some few uh, months or some few, here, yeah, some few months, even same with UCAP, we got some um, news where Tony Lumelu, like the family, are mopping these um, stocks. So a lot of the stocks are not that uh, liquid, so to speak, because the family has a huge number of them. So that is why you see this push that we are currently 
experiencing and if they are going to pay good dividends of course the family cousins sisters brothers that have good units they will make good money from the dividends so you that is having maybe a million or few units or maybe 10 million units you can't compare it with the family member that has a lot of these uh, company shares so they all the information were posted in the ngs when the whole family were mopping it they mop good numbers of it so if you see that you will know that even now they've actually made good money because ucap was 15 when i gave my client it was even 13 40 when i gave my client and um, that's made my client good money because he has um, close to a million units and buying a million unit below 15 and selling it at 25 that will give you 10 million naira profit so if he's still holding to this point when it got to 2740 and uh, 2755 and if you are selling at that range you know that he has made close to seven point close to 12.5 million as profit so that's the benefit of getting a good coach or a good um, mentor that can actually guide you this was the area where we actually loaded our initial sorry our u cap so this is the area we loaded it so we loaded it below 15 and then um, in fact it was 13 uh yes it was 13 55 yes it came out of 1355 that was when i asked my client to buy so he bought some and i think and he bought some again 14 that 13 it was kind of um afraid because you know when you're using huge money to trade uh, so he, he he later bought at 14 after understanding how the market works he bought at 14 30 and we ride the wave to this point so turning 15 million era to 25 million era is actually interesting because if you use 50 million naira to run a business in a year, uh, before you make that 10 million naira, you know what we go into that business. You have to pay staff, you have to do a lot of things like that. So it's very, very key. You understand. And another thing you want to look at again, another one I want us to look at again is Transcom. So if you see, we are just analyzing uh, stocks owned by um, Tony Lumelu. So this is Transcom. So if you are in my community, we actually bought Transcom when it was selling for six. So we entered where it, when it was six. Yes, when it was six, that was when we entered in our community. We entered before when it was three and it got to seven. We sold for 100%. If you've been following my videos, I posted it here. Then we enter again at six when we saw that the opportunity is still there. So we, we entered at six and... Um, when it got to, I know some of my community member also that um, 14, also that 13, and some are still having, expecting to sell at 15. So this is huge gain that we actually celebrating in our community. And funny enough, on the 31st, I actually gave out 10 stocks for my community members and all of them have been doing well in the market. But I don't want us to sleep on any of them it's better not to make profit than to make profit and lose it so that is why you must be smart in taking profit i already taught my community member how to take profit as a professional you want to be able to take profit in a wise way so that when the market still continue the upward trend you still have some good benefit and when the market is down you still not be disturbed because you already take your investment and your profit with it so let's look at unisure so if you've been following my videos on unisure you know i did a video telling you that um, unisure will make millionaires and if you actually follow my instruction uh, by now you should be a millionaire depending on the money you invested in unisure because if you bought when i said you should buy which is when unisure was 20 22 23 in fact, it linger at 22 for a long while. And if you are patient enough to get in in that period, I think by now you would have done more than 50% approaching 100% because right now Unisho is 37 and we know that the market will open today at 40. And that we tell you that Unisho has done a 100%. You know, I told you this particular 
stock is going for one naira, but it will not be an easy ride and it will not happen maybe in a month or two. But if you are patient enough, I think the your waiting period will be rewarded. But I am not telling you to go and buy now. This is not the financial advice. Don't go and buy initial at this price and the price will now come down to 20 or 22. You will now say, I gave you a wrong recommendation. We are just doing a market update here to see what is currently happening. But if per uh, adventure anything happened in the market and you see Unishaw at a very good price, I think the metrics are still okay if you still want to go into it. So let's look at livestock. I think um, livestock is another one that we need to look and see what is happening with livestock. So let's just search it here so that so this right. So this is livestock. So livestock actually um, did some breaking, uh, but now it's coming back to retest, and um, we'll see another leg um, up for it. Actually, got to two or three. So once we see livestock at um, two nineteen, and if there's any break to two thirty, we we'll know that livestock is on its way to its original price, which is uh, three. So we are expecting it to come to this three, but it will be an easy ride, guys. But if you're patient enough, I think let's look at their how their Q4 is going to be, and we'll see how we can take advantage of that. So another one you want to look at is Dangote Sugar. So Dangote Sugar has been doing some um, up and down movement. So any break from these, uh, we might be seeing a good movement upward. So there are a lot of stocks that have been doing it, but what I just have uh, been doing well. So what I just want you guys to do, your takeaway from this video is ensure you take profit. The market is ready for you to take profit. So take profit and uh, wait for a pullback in those stocks that are paying dividends so that you take advantage of dividend announcement. So that once they announce their dividends, you can sell that day or you can sell the next day. Or you can wait for the dividends depending on when you want to get out of the market. So don't forget that another thing that will push this all share index upward again is the listing of the Dangote refinery. So that will also push the market upward because fresh money is coming into the market. So the trend line is still old and um, uh, from this we see that everything is still okay. Uh, I don't want a situation where there will be a massive dip to this very point again before we push back. But if it happens, fine. It will give you opportunity for you to enter again. So that is the update I want you to take from this video. Take profits and look for dividend stocks. Once they pull back, take advantage of it because that's the only catalyst that will push the market as I speak. So waiting for the budget to be passed that is another catalyst also that will push the market but from q1 that call that's that that's going from q1 and um q4 intercepting each other uh, both will be released same period that will push the market and from then we'll be expecting another catalyst that will push it to q2 so from q1 you start taking position for good project so the banking sector, same with First Bank. First Bank has been doing well also. First Bank has been doing well also. So you can see the forming a saucer. So you can see what is going on. Let's look at the weekly so that we'll get a, a broad view of First Bank. So you can see what First Bank is doing. After breaking this um, all-time high, it created a new one and it's back. So we are sure that First Bank will cross 30 um, because of the old... Um, music in the market so the same thing with um, presco so if you look at the if you look at if you look at the news you actually see what is going on security operatives are utilizing are not utilizing the shetima depart for switzerland to represent nigeria the world economy so nas the so most of these news are uh, economic um, based news. You can see FG pledges to maintain stable sugar price. So all these will give you insight that the uh, current policies actually favor the 
capital market so you want to take advantage of that so i think subsequent video uh, i'll do some list of stocks you can actually have in your portfolio going forward into this year so that you can know what to do i won't leave you in the dark but for my community members they already have their bag loaded already so they already have their bags they're enjoying their ride and making profit one of my member profit right now is over 10 million naira, and there are some good good um i think two of my members sold their uba at 32 they actually bought uba at um eight naira, and they sold at 32 and that of Unishaw, some of my members that bought Unishaw at 24, 25, they actually sold at 33 because we don't want to leave money in the table. But if you are still holding, congratulations. But for my community member, we've started taking profit and we've started entering those stocks that we want to enter and we still keep some money in case there is any dip, we take advantage of it. So that's the importance of joining a community and that is the importance of working with a coach you actually know what to do you will not be confused in the market and you will not allow emotion you know allow greed to get into you so you do the right thing at the right time so thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i post enriching videos like this until i come your way again Keep making money and keep protecting your profits. I love you, my friends. Bye.